This is Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, getting into this 9.9 .9 Mercury carburetor. Please like, subscribe, send me any comments that I can help you with, anything that you're working on. But we got Jake's motor pumping water really good, but now we need to clean out this carburetor. I'm going to start with the bowl because that's usually where all the sediment sits. There's also a little primer in here. We're going to make sure that that's clean and we're not squirting any dirty fuel into this carburetor. So let's open it up, see what it looks like. As you know, I like to start with a clean surface, so I cleaned off my bench again, have nice clean rags on it, especially when working on a carburetor. I'm going to pull up a chair, get my uh, cheater glasses out so I can see a little closer, and we'll get into this carburetor. So typically with these old carburetors, <clears throat> I want to do as little as possible. I don't want to take the whole thing apart if I don't have to. I may pull this off. I don't want to split any gaskets, have to order more parts because it is possible to get this running if it's just some sediment in the bottom in the pickups and in the, um, the uh, jets. So also the two-stroke oil, kind of all the uh, oil is still there, but the gas evaporates out of it. So sometimes it's just thick oil in there, which is not a bad thing to have. Hopefully we won't see any corrosion in here. So let's open this up. So there's a jet in here we're going to make sure is clear. Give it a little tap. Actually doesn't look too bad. My uh, primer actually squirts fuel. <laughs> you can see that come out. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But it's actually moving smoother the more I move it and I see a lot of extremely full of oil fuel there so hopefully this is just backed up with some fuel we'll run some cleaner through it first a little wd-40 always is nice Just squirt it at my face. Don't see a lot of dirt in there. So let's flush out our jet here. We can unscrew this jet from here. May not want to cooperate. Oh yeah, got some bad fuel down inside there. We'll flush this out. Give it a little scrub. So you can see I'm cleaning out through. And we'll give it another flush again. This looks clear. I can see right through it, but we're going to give it a good flush. I don't want to put anything in there that's larger than that hole. So one of the old timers taught me, get yourself wire brush, pair of needle nose, take one of the wires out, take that wire you <clears throat> can snake it down inside there and kind of give it a scrub. I see little bits coming off, which is good. Flush it the opposite way. Put my cheaters on. You can see nice and clear now and clean right through everything. I still see something inside here. Let me take my little piece of wire. I don't know if you can see inside there or not in that camera. See something inside there. It may have been a little hair from the brush I put in there. Yeah, the little hairs are breaking off my brush. Give it a good flush again. Now oh, it looks clean. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our jet back in.
Okay, that looks good. I'm going to dump a little fuel in this bowl to remove all of the WD-40, flush it with fuel. Now it's spotless. So I'm not going to pull this apart. It functions properly. It's pretty clean. I'm really surprised at how clean it is. Now I'm going to check this float. So it is a separate float. We want to make sure there's no fuel in the float. So you shake it near your ear, if you can still hear. Now we're going to check our needle and seat, make sure it's opening, and it is. Take a look at the needle itself closely. It does have a rubber tip on it. Probably would be good to replace this if I had another one, but I do not. But the rubber tip looks intact. I don't see a ring around it anywhere, but it looks to be in good condition. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Got nothing to lose at this point. Before we put that in, we're going to take some cleaner and spray this out. Just making a mess over here. So I could pull the rest of this apart, but I'm not going to. I have good flow through here, and I'm hoping it was just a little dirt that was in there, and it will be okay. Really won't know until we try it again, but we have nothing to lose. Float appears to be good. Hard to tell if it's level or not with this style float, but we're going to assume that that's where it's supposed to be. It doesn't look off. I like to put a little WD-40 on the gaskets since I'm not replacing them in hopes they swell up a little bit and seal off a little better. Let's give it a whirl. Hopefully we cleaned out whatever was blocking so we can get better fuel flow. Definitely had a dirty jet in the bottom there which is where it picks up the fuel. Only one way to find out. So we'll put this back on the motor, fire it up and see what happens. This is Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, helping you clean out a carburetor so you can get your motor running and have a great day out on the water. Please like, subscribe, and send me any comments. Hope to hear from you soon.